Hi, this is Dustin Newman with Hilltop Disposal. In this video, I'm going to discuss liners perforated versus slotted. So if you have an open hole completion, uh, on the left hand side we've got perforated, so essentially you have holes in your liner versus slots. Now remember your water is going to come down through your slots or through your liners and out into your formation. Why would you want one versus the other? Uh, for a lot of oil field operations, they'll run slotted liners uh, because they're trying to bring oil into the liner and the surface uh, and exclude the sand from coming in. But for a disposal well, you want to run perforated liner. So with a slotted liner, uh, you can have the same amount of open area, so there'll be lots of slots in this thing. So there's lots of room for the water to get out. The only problem is, is anytime you want to stimulate the formation behind here, so let's say you're having problems with disposing of water, you're going to want to uh, stimulate. So whether it's fracking, swabbing, foaming, whatever it is, if you're fracking, to get your, when you frack, you always pump sand with your frack fluid to keep the, the fracture open afterwards. The sand isn't going to make it through your liner, so the liner will cause problems there. If you're trying to, uh, let's say you've got a bunch of uh, solid buildup or oil buildup or, or scale buildup on your formation, uh, or even drilling mud, after drilling, if you go in and swab or foam to bring fluid from your formation to surface, it won't make it past these slots. So the better way to go on a disposal well is always a slot, uh, is a perforated liner uh, and you want to make the holes, I don't know, you can go half inch, you can go uh, one inch holes and obviously enough to allow the water to get away and that will allow you down the road whether you want to frack, whether you want to foam, uh, stimulation exercises, whatever it is, you can do it with a perforated liner whereas in a slotted liner you won't be able to.